So it's about 11 o'clock, Monday, we're up on this fourth lift. Uh, a bit of a diminished fourth lift because there's only about, only about 700 brick here. Uh, that's not going up, is it? Fuck me, it's even less. Probably I could get, almost get it done today. Um, got two packs of bricks on the way. Well, we've already got a pack, I'll show you what we're doing. I'll set it out and stuff. Um, yeah, I finished that second lift this morning. Been experimenting a couple of ways to the soldiers. Still think the way I did it last video was best, you know, just for these connies. Um, clays might be different. It was e I did it an easy way this morning, but quite the Collison method because I first first I saw him doing it. Well, um, but we'll see. So we're welding out this round here. Scaffold drops off like fucking that there. Um, not getting any access to inside, so. It's only two across a common on there anyway, it's pan. It's around here. Um I should get a sun in a day. Well it's, it's half a day now I'll have on it, but I've only got down to here. And then I needed to get to this front bit really. To put a pan on. Um I can't I can't get up there unless I jump inside. I could jump inside and bang two across a common on, I suppose. Oh, I can't get to that brickwork, I could... I don't know. We'll see, that's the tech of steel, you see, so... I don't know. Can't access all of it, but we'll see. We'll do what we can. I need a big fucking lintel for here. Big one. I need a... 1700, so that needs a... 2... 225. Two, 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 150 each side, so... Yeah. See what we get done anyway. Not going to do any recording for a few days again. Um, it's all once a I can make some money on really. Right, it's in a bit.
So yeah, we enjoyed that few clips from today. Uh, day went a bit crap, really. I just delayed with a few things. Scaffolds weren't ready, and then I then the scaffold wasn't lifted right, and then I had to go and see manager and tell him about it, and then I had to sit scaffold there, and then tell him I wanted it, and, and then I had to get wall plates up. Um, just then load a fresh lift out at like 11 o'clock and still make a bit of money. I think we laid about 400 brick or something, <laughs> which is still pretty good. But like, starting to lay at 2 o'clock and then we finish at 5. Left side at 5, you know, so. I try not to work any later than 5, like, you know, half 8 well, half 8 well, half 4 is, is 8 hour. So I work well half five, take away half an hour snap, you know. Don't try to do nine, more than nine hour a day, nine. You know, ten hour from pushing it, but that's some serious fucking work, ten hours of fucking laying. And, you know, yeah, it gets too much, it just does get too much. It's only Monday, it's only Monday night and I'm already, oh, it's already fucking draining, man. It's, it's hard work sometimes when stuff don't go well, you know. There's a lot said for stress management and, you know, being able to manage people and manage the site and you've got to keep it together, you know, sometimes that you want to get stressed about things, want to fucking get angry about things or just pissed off and you just got to just like, let it be, let it be, let things go, you know. I struggle with that every fucking, every year, I've struggled it for years, I've struggled it all the way through my, my teens, you know. And even and it's taking me now to get up to almost thirty. I'm twenty seven to get to thirty to start just letting go of shit. It's like going out old all this don't old don't old old shit and carry it on your back and don't have chips on your shoulder, don't have any of that. Let it all go and just expect expect nothing and expect nothing and just, you know, create create absolute so you arrive you don't get your hopes up to do anything, you know, don't be, that is one thing I've tried not to do, I just try to arrive and create, you know, and not preconceive what I'm going to do or try to set me some unrealistic goals, I just try to stop myself doing it because I just, it can be a mind fuck. you just got to allow what's going to happen and just, you work better that way if you take, if you live, if you live life day at a time and fucking, you know, you can prepare but fucking, you know, don't, preconceived, you know what I mean, it's, ah, so much, I work so much better living a day at a time, I do, I work so much better, my life goes better, one day at a time is so much easier, you know, um, the minute you start worrying about shit, you've already fucking, you've already lost control, um, so yeah, anyway, um, don't know, people don't talk about stress enough, you know, stress and shit day to day. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to watch some Top Boy. I've not seen it before. It's a bit of like an undercover crime drug drama, fucking London gangs and, you know, whatever they call it. You know, a lot of fucking grime and Afro beat tunes on it. I like, I like that, I like the London, I like the British rap scene. It's all right, you know, I'm not a massive fucking grime fan, but. That's some fuck it's pretty good actually. Watch it, Top Boy, it's not bad. It's on Netflix, so um you know. I was never a chavy either. I'm never a fucking label me send as a chaffy or anything like that. I was more of a punk fucking, you know, rocker guy, rocker rocker Ute when I was younger. Fucking hell, I used to love them rock bars, man. Rock bars when I was eighteen, Nuki Brown, fuck me. No, it's just Stella and a thousand bricks. It was the only thing that consumes me fucking day to day basis. <laughs> if we could all lay a thousand in a magical will. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, uh, we're going to get there tomorrow. Um, got everything loaded, more or less. Um, everything's loaded, you know, everything's organised. Lintels, lintels are up. Wee poles are up, even though I didn't need wee poles. I don't know why I brought them up. Uh, damps are up, even though I brought them. <laughs> I brought up damps up and didn't need them. You know. Um, yeah. You know, a lot that goes into organising people think, you know, 
Dean asked me, yeah, can't you earn fucking, you must earn really good money and whatnot, how fast you are, and I said, there's a lot more that goes into it than laying bricks fast, there's a lot of organisation, a lot of thought, a mentality shift behind it, you've got to just keep going, even though when you think that day's fucked, or something going the way it should, you just got to keep going. Um, it's a lot of stress you take on, a lot of, you know, responsibility as well, making sure it's actually built right. Um, there is only, you know, a lot to it. And to be underestimated, you know, you don't, work at pace you know you're not putting if you're putting 800 a thousand bricks down every day organising things getting it right building to you know to an HPC zero poor quality in effect you know, you know as a toll you don't get out for free in this world whether it's a toll physically or a toll mentally you're going to get a toll on you um, but yeah that's why I have cats they relax me I've got four of them we're going to have a cuddle now mate aren't we my voice in top boy. Right. See you guys. See you guys in the next clip. So, uh, hey guys, it's Tuesday. Um, sorry there haven't been any footage today. Uh, obviously, you saw a bit from yesterday. Uh, a bit delayed yesterday, went for scaffolds and stuff. But I uh, got up, got up, started sort of doing stuff at about 12 o'clock. Started walling at about 2 after we'd loaded up for a bit. Uh, and then we left at five, so we only had three hours on this plot, uh, this uh, fourth lift yesterday. But now it's half three the next day, and this is what we've got done. So we finished off that gable that was from last last clip you saw. All these back pillars are up, up to uh, panite, you know, lintels on. That gable's up. Um, only reason I do take the gables up a bit more measure, a bit more cream, and you don't have a nosebleed on your cut up. I can't stand nosebleeds anymore after last fucking plot. So, um, just got two quarters of brick out on, I've bedded them on already, Let's make sure the level, uh, bedded them on, ready for fixed brick in them, nice little, nice fixed brick on, as you can see I try not to put much gobble on the lintels, only a little skimmer, um, just to just stop them rocking, because you're just going to struggle getting your commons on, and then your wall panite will have a fucking, you have to have a stupid bed of mortar on your fucking panite, you know, it's stupid, so... So we're just on here now, just finishing this internal off you saw last video. Beginning the last video, I'm just finishing it, they've obviously lifted it now. Um, about 200 bricks here to lay, it's half, just gone half three. Dean's gone to get some drinks, and with that drank. Uh, got lid to put on there, that one, that's height. A little cut up that goes up here. You know, I'll just take this up, I'll just cream this in now. It's home time, so tomorrow, and all, all I'll do is I'll bed me, bed me commons on, and uh, all I've got to do tomorrow is put that steel on in the morning, run them commons in, bed pans on. Better be dinner time tomorrow, you know. This will be all cleaned off, we'll be on another another drop, probably finishing off that first, that 1200 brick a day first lift. So, and uh, then I think we're starting, in, maybe taking over another plot, maybe, I don't know. See what's happening, see what's cracking. Right, I'm going to get to war and still using the tubs. Um, I saw the comment from uh, from Charlie about leaving them on the floor. Uh, we've been doing it. Uh, the only reason we tend to just load them, I get Dean loading them up in advance. That's why I have them sort of already up on these bins, just for just to stop him doing as much loading, really save him time. Off. A lot of guys don't realise that I try to have Dean, you know, I try to help Dean out with every bit of loading, um, even if it's setting out, just so that I can get stuff prepared for us both to walk. I want him on shallow as much as possible because. It's getting to the point where he's putting some numbers in, you know, some days, and the more he's walling, the less I have to. You know I mean? But yeah, anyway, right. See you in the next clip. So it's about quarter past seven. Uh, we're done. Uh, I've got this lift done basically. I've just got a uh, wall plate sped on it morning, and a few, like, you know, 150 commons or something. I don't know. Maybe 200 commons, maybe something like that. I'm just missing a lintel, I forgot to get up as well, so. Um, but yeah, check it out. Yeah, that's all up, that fucking front, I'm just missing that front lintel, I didn't get up, so. I just think that lintel's wrong, but I don't know, fuck knows. About 900 brick there today, counted up. Um, pretty fucking good day. Not amazing for half seven, but not bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, see you guys in a bit. So yeah, that's that's Tuesday done, so that's the end of the video. Um, about like 10 hours of laying, you know, you know, 10 hours of laying, 900 a break, 
it's only 90 bricks an hour you know it's not phenomenally fast you know it wasn't a square plot or anything but um, if you enjoy your job enough like I do you know it took me years to, I didn't always enjoy bricklaying as well as I do now so the 12 years I've been learning to bricklay because every day is a school day as you know you know probably only five of them years I actually enjoyed doing it uh, even my first couple of years I liked it a bit I don't like it as much as I do now because Let's, let's face it, when you're learning, it's crap, it's hard, you're not confident, you're anxious, you worry about if things are right or wrong. It took me to be doing it for 12 years. It's the only ever job I've, well, I used to work in it. Ever since I've been 15, it's the only job I've ever done. Um, it took me 12 years to really be relaxed. And I've been slowly relaxing for the last, like, four years. And you get to a point, you know, a threat, you cross a threshold where... You know, you can just sort of do any sort of work and make money, but the prices are going up in this little big little bubble boom area I'm in, up, you know, Yorkshire up north. Um, the prices are like a minimum of 700 a thou now and minimum of 17, 16 or 17 pound a metre on block. Um, so I'm just enjoying it while I can, and at the end of the day, you enjoy your working off, you'll be there, you'll be smashing work in, you relax, just be relaxed guys, it's the biggest fucking tip I can give anyone. Um, I don't do these videos to show you how good I am, because I'm, I don't, I'm not like, amazing, you know what I mean, I'm just fucking, I work hard and, I just make life easy, and then get a lot done because of it, I'm not, particularly, mega organised really, I'm just working on that part of it, also as well, um, I've got some tips for organisation, I'm going to be showing those next video. Um, it involves just getting a little pen, get a little pen and write stuff down. This is something I'm going to talk about a bit more in videos, but it makes you a lot of money when you're organised. Um, also, what we're going to say, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're on, uh, finishing that off for a couple hours in the morning, just tidying the scaffold, etc, bedding wall plates on. And then we're finishing off that first lift that you saw me doing block work on on that uh, video. Um, earn money, have fun. You know, what I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta have you gotta have fun on site. You gotta enjoy yourself because if you don't, what's the fucking point? Just go do something different. Just go drive for Amazon or something if you're not having fun. Just there's a lot of bricklayers I see out there. You know, price gangs just they just they lay bricks for money and that's it. And if you don't love it, you'll just not be, you'll just not any, you'll not be nowhere near as good as you could be if you enjoyed it. So, you know, people say stuff about me because I work some some mad hours, but it's because I enjoy it. It doesn't take it out of me doing it because I like being there. So, you know, more for you for rushing around. You know, it's I don't know. It's just the uh, it's the way of the world now. So, but yeah. But be be relaxed, enjoy it, and you'll get more done than imaginable. So, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna finish my beer, and I think it's like nearly, I think it's half eleven. So I best uh, get some Zeds. See you in a bit.